hoy voy a ser ya de tu santo te las cantamos aquí la luna ya se perdió we are at a restaurant we've never been to called Maya del Sol here for breakfast. We actually wanted to go out somewhere on the patio, but right. it's closed because it's raining. But how do you feel on your birthday, Valerie? Happy. L let us know. Happy. How are you feeling with your new haircut, by the way? I'm loving it. Loving it. That's cool. Yeah. It's like we, we got it shorter in the back and then like longer in the front. It's really nice. It's like a different look. She likes it. It's easier for her to wash I and like it um, maintain. I look like Kylie Jenner right now. Okay. Okay, Valerie. All right, she'll show you guys her outfit later when we get out of here. But we have a long, busy, great day ahead of us. And by the way, guys, I know you guys are probably like, where's Claudia? Behind the scenes, today's just a, a day for Valerie, and it's just all about her today. Like I said, getting breakfast. We'll show you what we got for breakfast. Valerie got you like he does. And I got a skirt steak, so kind of excited. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Kylie Jenner cosmetic slash. <laughs> I wish though. <laughs> Look at her carrying her purse and her lip gloss. <laughs> Can you go back to like five years old, please? Okay. <laughs> Someone dropped. Ooh, look what I got. This is the steak skirt skillet. And then Valacachi Lakiles. Are they bomb? Mm -hmm. They are? Like actual mm -hmm. bomb? No. What? Uh, yeah, I'll try one out right now after I dig into these Breakfast was good. Did you like your breakfast? Yes, it was good. Here, let's show them your outfit. Let's do a little twirl Valerie's birthday outfit Target Target Burlington Coat Factory She looks so cute. <laughs> you look so grown yeah. We'll look back at this like next year and like see your growth progress we are at the Starbucks drive-thru. Um, the restaurant was okay. It wasn't like the greatest. I like trying out new little cute restaurants. And then I go from there. Would I go back? Mm, possibly. I, look, I like to go on Yelp and then I search up like cute restaurants like that are out, out, outdoorsy. Um, nice presentation, but also with good reviews. This one was like good. But it just wasn't like it didn't like pop out to me but valerie liked her chilaquiles and i liked my skirt steak but i think that it was just way over, it was too seasoned that i just couldn't i just like had a little bit of it and then i just couldn't anymore i tried out the cotton candy bane the other day and let me just tell you yep obsessed my brother got a german shepherd puppy which i don't think I've showed you guys yet, but um, we got her a little toy for her to chew on, and we also got Chapo this because he has a favorite unicorn, but he kind of like already destroyed it. So we're gonna we're gonna take him this one. Do you want to go look at the fall deco? I mean the you don't want to you don't want to go look at the the costumes and stuff. Okay, Miss, I'm 11 and grown. Girl, I, oh. Oh, you, could get these. you could get these, you know, for my nails. All of this candy. Those are pretty cool. I actually want to get some I got this one the other day to like store cookies or leftovers or for lunch. I really like these bowls. Every time they come out with like a holiday bowl like this, I get it. I think they're cute. Not gonna lie, these would be really cute for like to store my wine in. I think. But it's like ceramic y, so I don't know. What would you store in here? Wine? Maybe? Juice? Milk? I don't know. For the window. That's cute. For like your window? I love all this like decoration stuff. <gasps> These pumpkins. Ooh. Wait, this does something. Oh, I see. 
Oh, look at a little kitty skeleton. <laughs> you got scared? Oh, these are so cute. Tell me this ain't cute. Oh, okay. okay. I thought it was gonna move. <laughs> Here is more of my style of decoration. Oh, that's really cute. That wreath. <gasps> that one's really cute, too. You're only gonna need this like for two days and then that's all. Uh, how about that? What is this? Pink? Whitney. New Amsterdam pink lemonade flavored vodka. Whoa, and somebody already opened it. What the heck is wrong with people? Ugh. Now I feel gross for touching it. Ooh, gift things. That's cute. I would love this for my room. These are so cute. Where'd you put I, I these? I legit want to buy this. It's five dollars, but like. Ooh. I want to go to the dollar section. Yeah, they always have cool stuff at the dollar section. I can definitely, definitely see the setup at the house, in my apartment. These are cute. Everything's cute. Let's be honest. Everything is cute. Yeah. So like, everything just is pick cute. Something out. I feel like I lost track of. <laughs> what I needed because for some reason I magically have a comforter in my cart now. Guys, keep this in mind. We were only a couple supposed candles. to come here to get cat food. Kill me? So you just get cat food. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow we ended up in the fleece blanket section. Somehow. I just want to know who. Who? Please let me know who's going to wear these lashes and how. How do you wear these lashes? Because I just don't understand how. These are so long. It's crazy. These are cute. I could see these. That's cute. Bowl. Yeah. These are so long. Ooh, these are cool, but like how how do you wear these? I am in love with my new comforter. It's so pretty. And we're about to give Chapo his new toy. And see if he likes it. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. He loves it. Yo la saqué así, medio que a medita y agarrar toda la energía de la serie. You guys went to the Fortnite show yesterday? The what? You guys want to go see Fortnite? Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. Fortnite. Minecraft. Minecraft. Nobody played Fortnite. I'm almost done with mine, but we got some seaweed salad. Yeah? Miso soup. And then an order of edamame, which is bomb. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Es que la otra vez teníamos más hambre. If you guys ever want to come here, you guys totally should. Not sponsored. I got dark all of a sudden. But it's not sponsored, but this place you can eat. It's all you can eat for $22.99. And um, they bring it to you in a big old boat. So it's good. And it's really good sushi. So sushi world out here in Chicago, if you guys are from out here. That's mine. Can we eat now? <laughs> can we eat? <laughs> A thousand sushis in, and we're still not done. This is crazy. Did you guys do you guys remember that boat that we just to, to saw? It's all gone. The boat is gone. It's, gone. it's like it's gone. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Valerie. Happy birthday to you. Did you make a wish? Yeah. 
Okay. What do you wish for? It's a secret. It's a secret. Oh, que lo parta, que lo parta, que lo parta. What's up with Mason's nose? How did Mason get okay, cake on his face? I am not Cause sure. Because of, of daddy. He's like. <laughs> Tony's does that chip? Bomb. Hands down. Um, I know exactly you like that one, you Mason? Oh? You like that one? It's bomb. Oh. Wait, what? Damn, son. This is fine. Does it chest? Mm hmm. Brownie. I, I like the chocolate. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Finally home. It's been a long day. But Valerie had a really, really good time, and I've had a really, really good time. So now it's time to take off all my clothes, jump into my pajamas, and see what we got going on for tomorrow. We'll see how um, this video comes out. But thank you everybody for the birthday wishes for Valerie. Valerie says thank you so much and she appreciates each and every happy birthday and just appreciates you guys in general. So thank you guys so much. Happy Monday, my loves. Oh, I just got home from, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. It's Monday. I picked up this gallon of water, which is my goal today, and try to try. Let's try every day to get in a gallon of water. Um, so that's why I picked up a gallon of water. I have so much to do today. So much to do today. I have to remove these acrylic acrylics. Yeah, acrylics off my nails before I go to my nail girl so she could do my nails because. They, they just charge too much to get this off, so I'm gonna do it. I do it myself, and basically what I do is I file the top gel coat, and I got a file, because mine is like pretty crappy right now. So I got these two files from Sally's, and then uh, I used some acetone and a little cushion, but the girl there said that I could use these like caps, um, I just soak them with the acetone and then I just like slip them in as you guys can see Like that at Sally's and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that seems a lot easier than You know putting them one by one with a with a cotton full of acetone and then You know wrapping up your fingers with aluminum foil. I'm a righty So when I get to do this hand it is so hard. So that's gonna be great and then I got this like cuticle thing but like, you guys see this one? This is what I wanted it for, so I could like scoop out or away the, the acrylic. Look, I'm just not trying to pay no 20 extra dollars aside of like getting my nails done to get these removed when I can just like do it at home. So yeah, and, that, and then I need to try to dye my hair and then I have to film a video. And then right now I have to go online because uh, Adam and Eve, you guys know that they, they love sponsoring my videos and I love working with them. So they reached out to me that they want to sponsor another video this month, which I'm always down. And I want to do a lingerie one, so um, I have to go online right now and submit all the pieces that I want to do uh, for this next haul. I'm pushing myself to get all of this done because honestly, I could just be in bed right now and just let my day go to waste. And look, look at me, I'm filming and I'm on a roll and that's... It makes me happy. I was supposed to go sign up for the gym today. I do have a gym membership, but I just felt like it's time to, to be at a new gym. New vibes, new fresh vibes. That's just how I am, guys. Like, when I need to feel like it's time for a fresh new start, um, a new gym always is great. A new haircut is always great. Or just cleaning up my apartment, moving things around just always brings in a new positive, different type of flow. And it always works for me, so... I haven't, I've actually been with a gym I've been at for a very, very long time and I just felt like it's time to be at a different gym. Something, something, uh, just a different, like, same environment, just different gym. Um, so I'm really, really excited, but they're not in today to take in new members. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go tomorrow, which is perfectly great because it works, works out for me because I just have a lot to do today. I'm gonna show you guys how I take off my acrylics. I use this acetone, which I don't know where I got it, but it's called Professional Remover 100%. I don't know. This is what it looks like. My mom got it. I don't know where she got it. Okay. But first, I'm going to go in with 
the file. And what I'm going to do is that I'm only going to take off this top shiny layer of gel, of gel polish and then go from there. So I'm just going to do all my nails really quick, take off the top coat. We're not going to go all the way down. We're just going to take off the top, top coat so it's no longer shiny. Okay, I've officially removed all of the shiny coat, gel coat on top of it. So now, okay, I opened these up and this is what they look like, the little caps, the caps that go on your fingers. So I'm just gonna bring them all out. They're kind of, they're pretty self-explanatory. So basically we're gonna soak this in this. Okay, so I grabbed a plate and I'm just gonna drip, drip. A little bit of that in here and then just soak them up okay and then I'm gonna grab another cap let me do this one okay so place it on the nail kind of fold it and then put the cap in just like that super duper easy now i'm hoping that this works i'm gonna leave these in for about 15 to 20 minutes okay so it's been about 15 minutes so i'm gonna remove one and see how it's coming up and yes it is going good it's coming out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this like little scraper thing and just go like that and you guys see how it's coming off I'm going to keep doing that until it all comes off and I'm going to keep putting, I'm going to put the caps back on until everything is removed. I do have extensions on so everything's going to come off and my nails are just going to be way shorter than before. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. An hour and a half later, finally I got them removed. I cannot wait. I feel so naked without them. <laughs> I feel so naked without nails. But I am going to go get my nails done today, later on, and I will show you guys what they look like later. Did I show you guys my new jump rope that I bought at Burlington? I don't think I did, but something else I want to start incorporating to my life is jumping rope because it's really good cardio. Look who is obsessed with the comforter. <laughs> like, he's been, he's been attached to my bed since. Look at him. Just, just look at him. He's just so cute. Last time I went to Namichakana, I really made sure to write down exactly what type of chamoy they use on their mangoneadas because it'd be bomb, okay? So I peeped out the brand, and this is the brand. I got it on Amazon. And also, Jenny69 has been doing these, like, chamoy shots on her, like, channel. And I'm like, girl, that's look good as heck. So I got me this one, and hopefully make some chamoy shots in the in the future with a family parties or something so um yeah it's pretty pretty legit you get a pretty pretty big size so i took c4 this morning and i missed the tingly sensation that pre-workout gives you because photonomy does not give me that feeling i know some people don't like the tingly feeling that pre-workout gives you but i love it i really don't mind it because it also lets me know that the pre-workout is super bomb and it kicks in great so i love it it's it's a certain ingredient in the pre-workout that makes you feel that way so like if you guys don't like that feeling um you guys can totally get pre-workouts that don't make you feel that way i don't i remember photonomy photonomy doesn't give you that tingly sensation I, i'm not Photonomy athlete anymore. I just want to let you guys know. Like, if you guys are interested in a pre workout that is not gonna give you that tingly feeling, then maybe Photonomy is for you. C4 definitely does give you that tingly sensation, and I really missed it. And I was just like on a roll, and I'm still on a roll. <laughs> I'm still on a roll, and I really, really, really miss that feeling. I wanted to take you guys inside with me, but I didn't. I didn't. So. I got a lot more stuff than what I intended to get. Well, this doesn't. But I can't wait to get home and show you guys what I got. I got a few outfits. And what else did I get? I got a few outfits. I got a lot of snacks for Valerie for school for the month of October. But I got these EOS chapsticks. And this is beach coconut 
with rich vanilla and sea salt and then this one is eucalyptus with fresh spearmint and oolong tea let's see how these smell hopefully they smell good because okay so this is the beach coconut this should be the beach coconut with vanilla I think it's the vanilla that I'm not liking. And then, okay, this is the eucalyptus. This one smells good. So I'm gonna try this one. I, I dig this one. Oh, okay, when I put on chapstick, I put it on like all over, like even on top of my lip, everywhere. I don't care. So I have a little story time for you guys that happened to me yesterday. On my way, on our way, it was me, my mom, and my daughter. We're on our way to the sushi, sushi spot. And so I was driving because I, I don't like it when my mom drives because she drives so slow. It drives me crazy, okay? So I was driving and I was making a turn, a left turn into the street and it was my right to go and so then when I was turning some lady decided to start making her way you know crossing the street but she was not in the right and she just like came out of nowhere and she was just like this she looked homeless uh, she started screaming like crazy so I kind of slowed down because I didn't want her like I don't know if she's gonna like throw herself in front of the truck or something or if she's like on some drugs or something, whatever um so I started going slow and then she started screaming like as I was getting it I kind of like blacked out okay I kind of blacked out because I was like wow is this really happening right now because she was cursing and she was coming towards the truck like towards my window but obviously like the truck is locked you know so she's not gonna get in or whatever but like I could have been mad and I kind of like blocked out of my head but in my head I was going it was like I was trying to really process like is this really happening like this lady is really cursing me out in the middle of the street but I wasn't mad and I wasn't nervous and I wasn't getting anxiety or anything like that I wasn't a very calm state of mind because in my head I was telling myself like wow she must be really going through a lot to be angry about nothing this is like this is she's the one who got in my way you know like she's the one who got in my way while I'm supposed to be crossing the street and this lady's like literally cursing me out to the top of her lungs she literally spit at me she didn't spit at me you know because the window was closed but she spit at she spit at the window and like I wasn't I wasn't mad about it and I'm, I'm still not mad about it. I'm just like in disbelief that it happened like did this really just happen but I was just in my head I was like wow this this lady must be going through something really, really hard for her to be mad about something that isn't even my fault. But in her head, it is my fault, or I don't know what's going on in her head, because she just didn't look right. Like, there, she was definitely on something, and she just looked like a homeless woman, but I felt, I felt really, really bad. Like, I could have, like, for a second, I was like, let me put my window down and give us give this girl a deal but like no like something in me just stopped me and I just while she was cursing at me I was just having a peaceful I just had this peaceful state of mind like I don't know what was going on like I wasn't scared or nothing in my head I was just thinking like wow her life there's just you know like her life could be better and she's she's just she's just angry that life isn't the way maybe she she planned it to be you know so I felt bad for her and I just let her have her moment like whatever you know uh, I didn't say nothing to her I just kept driving slowly but also kind of looking at her because just in case you know she threw something you know my daughter is in the car and you know she, something happens like I gotta be on it so I did go on Amazon last night and I did buy a pepper spray but uh, I just hope she's okay and I hope life gets better and I wish her the best and Valerie was like after the situation Valerie was so mad like she was literally about to cry like I felt so bad but she's like I was about to go off on her like she's not gonna talk to you like that like she was going like she was so mad and so bothered that this lady had like cursed out my life 
uh, for no reason. And, you know, I felt I felt super bad like that Valerie had to watch that, but I had to explain to her at the same time, I'm like, look, Valerie, here's the thing. She's not, she's not like, she's not alert. She's, her head isn't there. She's going through some stuff. She looks like she's on drugs. She's, she's just going through a lot and it's, you know, it's not fair for me to like sit there and curse her right back out because it's it's like arguing with a wall you know that the, the she's she has no sense in her because she's just going through something you know what i'm saying do you guys know what i'm trying to say like you can't sit there and curse out a homeless person who's drunk or on drugs like you you just can't i mean you can but like you're not really gonna get through through to them so the best thing to do in my case, because the windows were shut, uh, I, we were in a vehicle, we, uh, we weren't in danger. So was there really a reason for me to put down my window and curse her out? No, like no. So I just, I just wish her the best and Valerie was just so mad. She was, she was, she looked like she was about to hop on and whoop her butt, but no, like me and my mom explained to her that she's going through a rough time and if she was like in her her right state of mind she wouldn't have said nothing she wouldn't have crossed the street when she wasn't supposed to and we wouldn't have had that situation but you just never know what people are going through you know what i'm saying so I, i'm just like so grateful that even though i don't have everything i wish i could have in life i'm grateful for where i'm at right now and you just got to give thanks to the universe or to god for being where you are at because things could be way worse but you know what we keep on going and you got to take situations like that and apply them to your life and just be thankful and grateful for what you have and just you know I wish that lady the greatest I hope that her year turns around her life turns around I hope that miraculous miraculously you know someone comes into her life and just changes her gets her off the street off whatever she was on and just gives her a better life a purpose to live because she doesn't deserve to be walking around like that she doesn't deserve it and i didn't deserve to be cursed out either but it is what it is you know i i just wish her the best sending her so much positivity and love her way no hard feelings sometimes you guys you guys just have to understand that maybe and i know we don't nobody deserves to to you know get the beatings for whatever someone else is going through I'm not saying that I'm just saying that like like in my situation I just I feel for her and I have no anger towards her and even at that moment like I I wasn't angry at her maybe she just needed to let it let that out maybe she was going maybe maybe she had a really hard day and she just needed to let it out and I was in no danger and all she did was spit out the card and was just cursing out and I was just like do what you gotta do girl you know but that was just that's just my my little story time of what happened to me yesterday on our way to the sushi spot. Picking up Valerie from school, dropping her right back at my mom's, and then heading to my nail appointment. Oh, she's got some birthday gifts. What? Is this from one of your friends? Yeah, so she gave me this. And then she gave me this blanket. Oh, that is so nice of her. This blanket. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, she got me this for chapel. <laughs> that's funny. He's Cap not gonna like it, but Captain Adorable. <laughs> that's funny. Um, oh, that's what she was asking you. What's his name? Yeah. That's funny. And then this is. Uh, she got me a card. She got me a gift card for Starbucks. What? Yeah. Wow, that is so nice. Yeah. Well, wow, that's really nice of her. Yeah. And then my other friend, she gave me scrunchies, the ones that I'm wearing right now. Oh wow. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. And then she also got me some slime, and she put some uh some confetti in here. Oh, did her birthday pass already? I uh, know it's on November, but I'm like I'm. I told her like when it's your birthday, I'll get you something. Yeah, for sure. Cause that yeah. that was really nice of her. She didn't yeah. have to do that. She did at nighttime too. At 10. Oh, it's so nice. By the way, how rude of me to not let you know what the new thing on my face is. I got some new earrings. They're from Target. They're ster sterling silver. So hopefully they don't turn my ears green. Because I am very, very sensitive to like fake jewelry. But hopefully these don't hurt my ears or turn my ears green. Are you guys ready to see these nails? 
guys. Oh my gosh. She did such a good job. Like, I can't even. I have never had rhinestones on my on my fingers. So, wow. These have like little shiny specks of glitter in them. I don't know if you guys can see. But she did such a good job. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So obsessed. Wow. She did such a good job. I love my nails. Okay, guys. I am finally home. Finally home. We're going to do a quick little Target haul. And then I think I'm going to call this video quits. Because it's probably the longest video ever. But anyways, let's begin with first... First off, first, foremost, my wine. You guys know my favorite wine. For roll-ups, for snacks, for school snacks, Halloween theme, juices, and everything. All her snacks are Halloween themed, just because I think it's pretty cool to theme uh, her snacks by like the holidays right now. I was supposed to drink that. Forgot it here. Therefore, water a gallon. Gallon of water starting tomorrow. Um, let's see some Halloween Oreo snacks picked up some olive oil because I'm totally out of it some mascara some my favorite eyeliner Which is the NYX uh, Matte liquid eyeliner picked up one of these babies because I'm starting to run out picked up some white claw the variety pack They're bomb. I picked up a few outfits Well, just a pair of jeans. I got these these are the Ava and Viv and these are in a size 22 regular skinny. Um, amazing, amazing jeans, guys. Oh my God, they're a little bit big from like the leg, the, from the bottom leg area, but these jeans are high-waisted and they're just so comfortable. If I have time in the next vlog, I will do like a little try-on so you guys can see how they fit because I think this video is just way too long already and I got them in this like dark but light blue and then I also got them in this dark blue so it's two different types of blues as you guys can see but it's the same a brand Ava and Viv same size I'm gonna do a try on on my next video oh my god guys I was so obsessed with this big sweater also but by Ava and Viv it's this like really big sweater in a size 2x and it fits me big big but I love it it's like super long it goes a little bit under my like knees or like almost up to my calves but it's just so beautiful and like cozy and warm and then I also picked up this white shirt which is also by Ava and Viv and it has like a little it's like a little scruffy from the shoulders and it is mid mid length shoulder is it or like up to your elbows which I am obsessed with, with a rounded collar. And this is in a size 1X, and it just fits so nicely, so I can't wait to show you guys in the next video. Then, I picked up myself some like cozy fallish socks with like little lambs and animals. There's like, I think there's ducks and there's like some cows in there somewhere. But they're so cute. Then I also picked up some lashes, some wispy lights, and these right here which look really nice too and then picked up these harry potter socks for valerie just to encourage her more to keep reading her book really love these she's gonna love them and then this jacket also by avon viv in a size 2x and this like hunter green with like pockets and a hoodie and it just fits perfect guys like the arm space is great. It's a size 2X. The pocket has pockets on top and bottom. I'll show you guys. It has like the the string that you pull together on the inside. Just like cinched your waist a little bit more. And instead of like having it on the outside, it's on the inside. Which is really awesome. And I'm just really obsessed with it. And then for snacks, Valerie, the Halloween mini cheese ball treats. And then what else is in here? Valerie's one. But I got her like a variety of treats just so like she can change it up every day so that she doesn't get like tired and bored of the same thing. And I also got her these garden veggie chips and like little ghost bat bats which is like really really cute also as well. 
and that is it guys so really that is it for this video i'm not sure how long this video is but i love it i love it i did so much today and i brought my camera around with me and i'm just like that's it that is all for this video two days in one video let's see how this goes but anyways i love you guys so much and thank you for watching my videos for commenting for commenting for being interested in my life and i just love you guys and appreciate you guys so much and thank you all so much for the birthday wishes in advance that you know i'm pretty sure some of you guys will have dropped a birthday wish for valerie in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye